All right, this lab is lab number four, the Atwood machine. The setup on this is fairly simple. First you take a table clamp and attach it to the table. Then you're going to take an upright support, slot it in. Next you'll need one of the big pulleys and a double angle clamp. That you'll set up like so. Make sure that the double angle clamp is far enough away from your support that your masses are not going to impact it as it falls. And make sure that the pulley spins freely without too much friction. If you get a pulley that is bad, you're going to need to come and get another one. After that, you're going to want to come and get some of this light black twine. And make sure that you have enough to run from the top of the pulley all the way to the ground with enough left on the side to tie off. Go ahead and cut it to the proper length. The mass hangers that we'll be using are these 5 gram mass hangers. You'll note that they have a spot that you can put the string through and tie off or you can just make a loop in the string and go ahead and have the hook pressed in the loop. I'm going to just tie off for extra security through the hole in the five gram mass hanger. And this part we might edit out, <laughs> just as I struggle with the knot. Yeah, that'll You'll put a mass hanger on each side of the string and make sure when the mass hangers are hanging that one touches the floor and that the other is relatively close to your pulley. You can either adjust the height of the pulley or adjust the length of your string. Once you've gotten the mass hangers tied off, you're going to go ahead and add 95 grams to each of the two mass hangers. One of the things that you want to watch in particular with this is that the pulley is actually straight so that when the masses are falling, moving, they're not about to fall off of your mass, the string won't fall off of your pulley. But you'll go ahead and add 90 grams to each of the two mass hangers. actually 95, you will add 95 grams to each. As they are 5 gram mass hangers and you want to have a total of 100 grams on each. Once you've done that, you should have the system set up as so, with one mass up and the other mass on the ground. The mass which is in the air is going to be your descending mass hanger. The one that is on the ground is going to be your ascending mass hanger. On your descending mass hanger, you're going to add the final 10 grams of weight using various masses from both the weight set that we have and other weights provided by your TA. Now your setup is complete and you're, going, you're ready to run your experiment. So now you're ready to run your experiment. The first thing you need to do is measure using your two meter stick. 
the height through which your descending mass hanger is going to fall, that height is going to be measured in centimeters, and it's going to be measured from the bottom of the mass hanger. Once you've got that height, all you need to do is grab the stopwatch. And upon release, hit the start. When it hits the ground, hit the stop button, and that is your time. All right. After you've recorded the fall, you're going to put the masses back onto your ascending mass hanger, or your descending mass hanger. You're, after you've done that, you'll put the masses back on your descending mass hanger, moving one of the one gram masses to your ascending mass hanger. and repeat your time measurement as dictated by the lab. 